Okay guys, uh, this is a video on how to get uh, OpenBSD version 7 installed onto your Raspberry Pi around uh, November 9th uh, through the 12th of the 2021. Um, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this particular vid video deals with uh, uh, the following error where you're getting a panic do ELO error or BWFM0 failed low firmware or something like that followed by a dot bin file um, so yeah um, if you're pretty familiar with DDing an image onto a flash drive um, you know um, this should be this, this should work for you but if not then you're gonna have to um, familiarize yourself with those steps um, you can check the OpenBSD FAQ for that um, or any other documentation that might be suitable for that um, so basically um, there's three things to consider first um, if you already have Raspberry Pi OS installed on your Raspberry Pi you need to run the an EEPROM update on it and you do that by running I believe it's uh, uh, RPI dash EE prom dash update or upgrade something like that um, as root so you might want to sudo sudo that um, it should allow you to update to the latest one which does have um, device boot order support so that you can boot from your USB drive instead of uh, you know the old method which pretty much required uh, you to burn something onto the uh, um, um, micro SD card uh, itself but with this firmware update um, you should be able to uh, boot from USB just as you would with a PC so with that said run your EEPROM update or whatever this command is right um, once that's done, and this is assuming you have, you know, Raspberry Pi OS installed. So if you don't, go ahead and install it, do the EEPROM update, and uh, carry on with these steps to get OpenBSD 7 on your Raspberry Pi 4. Okay, let me just make sure I'm recording. Okay, I am. Good. All right, so with that said, um, the next step, once you update your EEPROM, and be very careful not to uh, disconnect your Raspberry Pi while this is updating. Um, make sure you do a full reboot afterwards um, for, you know, j just to be on the safe side to make sure that it works. Um, it should work. It should not be an issue. Um, but yeah, um, it's better to err on the side of uh, caution. So you're going to download one of two images. You're going to download install 7 or mini root uh, 7 Im image files onto um, any any Unix box any anything Unix like uh, any Unix like operating system like OpenBSD FreeBSD Linux whatever it doesn't matter um, you're gonna run this command right here um, um, this one is specifically tailored to uh, OpenBSD so if you have OpenBSD already installed on a different device then you pretty much um, you replace this X by whatever your your device is the the one associated with your flash drive. So it's either uh, one, two, or three here, um, and then C. Don't forget the R. You don't want to write to your root directory, so don't forget the R here. Um, yeah, followed by block size one. And once that's done, um, I recommend mini root. That's the one I used. It worked perfectly. Um, but if, uh, if, if you want to use install, uh, the install image, which is larger, it has, uh, it has all the sets, um, by sets, I mean all the different software sets, like, uh, where are they? Oh, they're way up top. Okay, like games, base, comp, or whatever, X, um, X, X shared, or whatever. Um, yeah, you might want to get those, um, yeah, so just get those and uh, 
um, pick what it, whichever one you want okay so the next step is to make a directory well you gotta su to root before you do that right because you need device write permissions or whatever however you set it up however you can get it done just get it done um, so you're gonna make a directory in your mount directory uh, called USB or whatever you choose and you uh, on OpenBSC you're gonna do mount underscore MS DOS and then uh, usually your uh, your device which uh, it's relating to this one the one you created it should have a disk label on um, the disk label um, the slice uh, referencing uh, fat partitions is usually an I but uh, um, sometimes that might not work um, it might be different but I doubt it is so just run disk label on this right here RSD1 it might be RSD1 or whatever your device is it could be SD2 whatever um, but for the sake of this um, tutorial I'm gonna use one so it's gonna be RSD1 or it might just be SD1 whichever one works try both it's either gonna be SD1 or RSD1 I doubt it's gonna be anything else so that'll spit out a table and it'll tell you which uh, which slice or which letter uh, um, your fat partition is on and that's what you're gonna use as um, the device to um, as the as the reference device to mount your uh, file system onto the uh, USB directory. Okay, so then whatever you whatever device is uh, um, whatever device has your fat file system, you're gonna run um, the mount ms dos command, and that should allow you to mount it. If it does, great. The next step after that is to CD into the mount USB directory or whatever you named it. Run a, run ls uh, LRT and uh, remove the dot um, there are some BCM files in there remove those I had issues where I try to copy the uh, I try to copy the uh, the, the, uh, the the boot files or whatever um, UE, UEF5 uh, blobs um, over to the to, to that directory and I ran out of space so just clear out some space you should be fine um, clearing those out because later we we're gonna fill them back up with something that will allow it to boot um, let me see. Good. okay so the next step is to visit this site um, it's pftf rpi slash rpi4 on github um, they provide custom uh, well they provide firmware that works with uh, um, U-Boot or whatever or whatever um, Raspberry Pi uses um, the latest version as of this doc uh, as of this uh, tutorial or whatever is I think uh, 1.32 uh, so you're gonna go to this site you're gonna go down to the installation section um, and you're gonna follow the installation steps the first step is to download the, the um, the, the release um, which is the UEF5 firmware um, zip file which you can get by clicking here that'll open up this download this and extract that onto a directory um, onto the machine that you're using your uh, you're using to create your um, USB flash drive so you're gonna extract that into a directory. Mine was a Raspi UEFI. That's what I, you know, extracted all the files to. Okay. Once that's done, um, you're gonna copy over all the files in that directory over to the mount USB directory, which is your fat file system within the image that you burned onto the uh, to the flash drive. So it, it already had a fat file system. So yeah. Uh, you, all you got to do is mount it, copy these files over. Okay, once that's done, you're going to run the sync command. You probably don't have to do that anymore. It's kind of deprecated, but go ahead and do it anyway, just in case. You're going to CD to get out of the slash mount USB directory, or otherwise it won't let you unmount. 
and you're gonna do unmount, not U mount. Or is it U mount? I forgot. Oh, whatever. You're gonna unmount uh, slash mount slash USB or whatever directory you named it, and that should be enough. That should be enough. Um, once the files copy over with no problems, um, take care that it doesn't like give any errors about you know file system space exceeded or anything like that. It shouldn't if you ran the remove command within the uh, within the USB directory, which referenced the fat files fat file system on your uh, installation media. Um, so if you if this all worked. Um, you're, you're pretty much set. All you got to do is unplug your uh, USB um, flash drive that's imaged with uh, install 7 on it or um, open ESD installation media of version 7.0 or whatever. Once, once you do that, you just plug it into your Pi and it should work. Now, um, this is uh, one step I probably should have mentioned beforehand. Apologies for that, but uh, I think if you do sudo raspi config on your Raspberry Pi, then you go to advanced options, I think that's advanced options or something like that, you should see something that would allow you to change the boot order, right? And that's how you do it. So the EEPROM update will get you that capability, but to actually change the boot order you have to use raspi config so you probably want to do this first you probably want to update the the eprom then run raspi config go to advance and change the boot order change the boot order and you might want to have it boot to usb uh, first and then uh, whatever else after that so uh, I think it's it's the one in the middle um, it has several options but I, it's the one in the middle it's the one that allows you to boot from USB first and then uh, micro SD after that okay once you do that you should be good to do all this and then you'll be able to boot um, hopefully um, the, the install media so you can actually install the OS onto your uh, your uh, Raspberry Pi. Um, again, hope this video works. If not, leave a comment below. If you have any better ideas or suggestions, uh, please leave them below in the comment section. Again, thank you for watching, and I hope this works out, and good luck to you guys.